Katie was a beautiful red crawler tractor. She was very big and very strong, and she could do a lot of things. Katie had a bulldozer to push dirt around with. Katie also had a snow plow to push snow with. Katie belonged to the highway department of the city of Geopolis. The highway department required the roads, repaired the roads in the summer, and kept them clear of snow in the winter, so traffic could run in and out and around the city. All summer, Katie worked on the roads with her bulldozer. Katie liked to work. The harder and tougher the job, the better she liked it. Once, when the steamroller fell in the pond, Katie pulled it out. The highway department was very proud of her. They used to say, nothing can stop her. When winter came, they put snow plows on the big trucks and changed Katie's bulldozer for her snow plow. But Katie was so big and strong, she had to stay at home because there was not enough snow for her to plow. Then early one morning, it started to drizzle. The drizzle turned into rain. The rain turned into snow. By noon, it was four inches deep. The highway department sent out the truck plows. By afternoon, the snow was 10 inches deep and still coming down. Looks like a big snow, they said at the highway department, and sent Katie out. A strong wind came up. The drifts began to form. One foot, two feet, three feet, five feet. The snow reached the first story window, the second story windows. And then it stopped. One by one, the truck snow plows down. The roads were blocked. No traffic could move. The schools, the stores, the factories were closed. The railroad station and the airport were snowed in. The mail couldn't go through. The police couldn't protect the city. The telephone and the power lines were down. There was a break in the water main. The doctor couldn't get his patient to the hospital. The fire department was helpless. Everyone and everything was stopped. Katie. The city of Geopolis was covered with a thick blanket of snow. Slowly and steadily, Katie started to plow out the city. Help, called the chief of police. Help us to get out to protect the city. Sure, said Katie, follow me. So Katie plowed out the center of the city. Help, called out the postmaster. Help us to get the mail through. Sure, said Katie, follow me. So Katie plowed down to the railway station. Help, help, called out the telephone company and the electric company. The poles are down somewhere in East Jalopolis. Follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the roads to East Geopolis. Help, called out the superintendent of the water department. There's a break in the water main somewhere in North Geopolis. Follow me, said Katie, and she plowed out the roads to North Geopolis. Help, help, emergency, called out the doctor. Help me get this patient to the hospital. In West Geopolis. Sure, said Katie. Follow me. So Katie plowed out the roads to the hospital. Help, 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 called out the fire chief. 
there's a three alarm fire way out in South Geopolis. Oh, follow me, said Katie. So Katie plowed out the roads to the fire in South Geopolis. On her way back, a plane signaled for help. The airport was snowed in. Katie was beginning to get a little tired, but she wouldn't stop. Not Katie. She hurried over to the airport, plowed out the runway so the airplane could land safely. Then, after she had found the broken down truck plows, she started home. The fire department had put out the fire. The doctor had saved the patient. The water department had repaired the roads. The telephone and electricity were on. The mail could go through. And the police could protect the city, thanks to what Katie did. Katie finished up the side streets so traffic could move in and out and around the city. Then she went home to rest. Katie, stop.